yellow duckies, let's get back into the game. That book seems a bit more important than you let on. There is little more important than such a precious, rare text. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. This has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. Yes, you're right. Such are the workings of the equation. And I've only my own hubris to blame. I certainly never planned for this contingency. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand, if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. That's all part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Are you even a vicar? Because you aren't sounding very vicarly right now. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? I don't think you were being completely honest with me about that book. What's the story? It's the journal of one of the originators of the Philosophist School of Thought, though it would be more than a century before it was perverted into that belief system. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of that came later. Bokonu had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. How'd you get assigned to prison duty? Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's the long and short of it. So, what do you think? Fantastic. I promise you won't regret this. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery, and to leave this place behind. It is my esteemed pleasure to serve as your crew vicar, Captain. Yeah. That was a good thing you did, Captain. Helping to bring the deserters and Edgewater folks back together? I hope you rest well on that. 
right, let's go sell. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. store I'm not allowed in here not since the vending machine incident <laughs> Holcomb got my eye on you girl Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment not since that little incident what it ask her if you care I'm running a business here I won't touch anything while we're in here mr. Moreau I promise let me see what you're trying. Music to my ears. That's so. Trunk, weapon, good armor, sell, 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 weapon. Seven, nine, three, five. Noise, so that I don't really use anti noise ones. Range weapon magazine changes the type to plasma. We don't need five of them. Let's keep two. We'll keep two of the sight. Get the shot. This is your tech skill. Mm. Mr. Ouch. Increases damage dealt with a power attack. Okay. Effect has a cooldown armor. Hmm. Keep that. Uh, sell that. Nightingale. Let's keep that. Extendo sight. What's heavy in all this? Frozen dinners. Um, we don't do alcohol. That's fine. That's fine. That's so 
that. Actually, yeah, fish sticks are heavy. And I'm not the biggest fan of your gourmet salt tuna. Spacer's choice. The brand. That's actually music to my. I should have gone in to just buy. Let's see. Weapons. Nope. Armor. All the stuff I just sold, basically. Hmm. No. Uh, get the stuff I sold. part and buy out your armor parts. Okay. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? I like to know something about those I'm playing with. What's your story? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Violently enthusiastic disposition. Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Why were you so passionate about it? My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. But weren't they proud when you became a vicar, at least? They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige. But that was not me. If you can't help but follow the plan, then everything you do is part of it, right? The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, it's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. Seems quite trusting of you to just sign on without knowing anything about me. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope, and you were my only hope of getting it translated. Makes sense. What about you? What's your story? I was a colonist on the Hope. A scientist named Well saved me. And how did he do that? He stole my body from the Hope at the edge of the colony and, and thawed me out. Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let's pretend for the moment I believe you. What are you going to do now? 
I'm helping him recover more of the chemicals he needs to save the rest of the colonists. That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? Just because it's the right thing to do. A commendable attitude. I'll think it over and get back to you. End that conversation for right now. Another day at the cannery. Go to the barber shop. Oh, I can cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. What can I do for you? You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. I know about you, Jean. Why not use this teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? I found a note from Phyllis. Ben, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh. Gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Are you sure about that? I'm sure that I have no other choice. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. I'm told Eugene killed himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. <laughs> That's horrible. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Goodbye. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell to keep notified. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you.